स्पीक साथी शान को जय भीम लाल सलाम जय भीम लाल सलाम I actually, uh, I'm still in, in in the hangover of that reception you have given us that day. I don't know what to uh, how to address such a politically vibrant gathering. I would like to thank first to Professor Abdurrahu. For bringing the protest from JNU back to its view. Also, when I was invited to speak here, uh, I actually Agarabia is supposed to speak here. I'm not a Agarabia uh, because uh, I could not find any Drona Charya here who deserves my thumb. I don't think there are Dronacharyas here who deserve the thumbs of of Dalit students, marginalized students, Adivasi students, Muslims, uh, and other marginalized uh, people. If Aparavu is a Dronacharya, then I would rather prefer over his head. I felt. Uh, Shy to first I was when I was invited here to speak in front of you because uh, I cannot share my prison experience to the people who are constituted the large number constituted by the large number of students from Kashmir, from Northeast, and from other part of the country because uh, the experience that we uh, went through uh, in the last week. Is a daily life experience for them. So I don't think there is a point to narrate my experience here, especially in front of them. Oh. I think uh, what is important about this protest is uh, the idea of nationalism has been has been uh, deeply questioned. That's very important, I think. Uh, I read that statement by. Uh, Union Minister Arun Jaitley. Uh, he says that uh, we, BJP set a debate on nationalism and everyone now is close to that, their argument. I want to say, is, say that it's not a debate. Don't call it a debate. Especially after putting us in, behind the bar. It's an oppression. And it's a resistance. Because positions are already clear. Point is which position we are to subscribe. Uh, the question of uh, nationalism, you know, it's, uh, it's the uh, you know uh, particularity about this protest is it's solely based on the question of caste, and these movements are led predominantly by Dalit students. That's the major reason why this movement is not getting any attention in the larger uh, national media. So it's very, very historical. Someone was, was saying that, um, I saw some status on Facebook that Ambedkar wishes Hyderabad to be uh, the capital of this country. And I think uh, Hyderabad is a capital of, should be, must be capital of our country since the new democratic protest and political formulations are actually happening uh, in Hyderabad, not in Delhi. Uh, um, also, finally, um, I was reading uh, in my jail days uh, the famous philosopher Wittgenstein. He is uh, famous for his uh, reformulation of the idea of philosophy. He says that philosophy is not a thinking, not about a thinking. It's about acting. 
it's a solving the problems. It's, it's doing something. His family is a business family. Uh, I think the knowledge for us, for the marginalized communities, is about doing, is an activity. In the sense, Dalits, you know, we have uh, Ambedkar uh, Center for Ambedkar Studies here. And there are a lot of uh, Dalit study, uh, uh, Center for Dalit Studies and Gender Studies over the country. But uh, everyone who is uh, actively participating in the in the academic engagement on that particular issues are very much invisible in the political protest or, or political movement or political positions. What I have to say is, if Ambedkar is a text, you cannot exclude this movement from that text. You know, I was uh, I was doing Ambedkar studies for these days. Uh, uh, nothing outside the text. There does it. I have to tell my professor who are anxious or my attendance that I got enough attendance outside from outside my classroom. And also, uh, Professor Ria once said that uh, you don't worry about your academics, you don't worry about your career because uh, since Rohit went to the sky, you got enough lessons to learn, you got enough attendance, and you created classrooms outside the classrooms. So, uh, I would like to thank you uh, again for, uh, for tolerating me and uh, for um, giving such an opportunity to... I, I actually I felt uh, responsibility, not too late. And, uh, of course, speaking when you are most heard is a privilege. Speaking To speak in a situation you are least heard is a political activity. So, uh, I, I, I would like to conclude now and, and uh, uh, I hope this movement will will last long, inspiring a lot of move political formations, a lot of students, a lot of marginalized people, without without eclipsing the core question of caste, which is the base of the formation of this nation state, which is a violent idea of nation state, which is called India. Jai Bhim. Jai Bhim.